Day team, first 15, what's going on? I have gotten a couple of questions lately about why, pertaining to why I started to do this, to be a coach, to be a trainer, and to, and to teach people how to strength train. So I thought I'd let you all, all into a little bit of the background if you didn't already know it. Um, when I was younger, if you, could, if you couldn't already guess, I was a big kid. I was a, I was a bit of a chunker. Uh, <laughs> if you've ever seen South Park, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. Well, I was a little bit of both. And so, you know, as you'd expect, you, you, you get a little picked on here and there when you're the big kid. So as I got older, I, I decided if I was going to be the big kid, I might as well be the strong kid too, you know. So, because everybody kept calling me big strong kid. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so I decided I'd be the strong kid as well. Uh, so fast forward, I started lifting, but I wasn't properly coached, I don't feel at least. And so I think I started to do some my, do some harm to my body, thusly leave it, leading to me being diagnosed with uh, the early on stages of, of arthritis at 19, 20 years old. So that's not exactly something that should excite anybody. Um, you know, my weight wasn't exactly helpful, but at the same time, I feel like uh, doing things improperly uh, caused my knees to start to get a little get a little mad at me. You know. So there's, there was that. And then I discovered later on in college after putzing around with a few majors that I probably had no business doing, hey, I like lifting, but I can teach people to lift as a job as well? Okay, I, I'm into this. So I started to do that. And as I've grown older, I certainly have uh, refined exactly why it is what I do, I do what I do. But the root of it is I don't want somebody to feel like they've gotten injured or hurt because they didn't know what they were doing in the gym. So when people come to me, my goal is obviously to make them healthier and happier, but also to feel more confident that they aren't gonna hurt themselves the next time they pick up a weight. And I want them to feel confident leaving here that they can continue on down the path, even if they never saw me ever again, that they could continue on um, lifting weights and strength training and stay healthy without any pain. So that's that's pretty much the gist of why I'm doing what I do. To add on to, top, to the top of that, you know, I've discovered that I also like to, there's a certain population, uh, females, women, that don't feel as confident in the weight room and uh, I want, knowing that and knowing that's kind of how I felt after a little while, uh, after feeling like I got hurt because I didn't know what I was doing, uh, I want, I kind of shared that with them. I didn't want them to lack confidence in walking into the weight room. I wanted them to be able to walk into the weight room and be able to get, get under a bar, pick up a set of, set of heavy dumbbells, pick up a set of ke uh, heavy kettlebell and feel good about what they're about to do, that it was the right thing and that they were this was going to make them happier and healthier. So that's a little bit of why I do what I do and hopefully that gives you all a little insight to what I'm about. Thanks for your time everybody, have a good day.